<laughs> You're so silly, baby. <laughs> oh, you're so good at your patsy. It's your trick, uh, your party trick. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another vlog. We just ended vlog week two days ago, and we're back with another video because we have some fun things going on today. We're going to do some antique shopping. Yeah, there's a flea market in Nashville, yeah. and we're going to go check it out today. Smoke snapping. We've already done some walks, some coffee. We've had breakfast. We're waiting for him to wake up. Get dressed. It's kind of cold out. The sun was coming out. After, like During our walk, it was getting a little warmer, but now it's gray out, so I think it's pretty cold. It's crispy. Um, it's crispy, so. We're in our fleeces and jeans and layers. Well, the We're flea market so is at the um, fairgrounds. Is it like a new thing or do they do it once a year? It's a, literally once a month. Okay, but oh, where really? I found out about it was... Um, Hope it's good. I was talking to Megan, the girl that does my hair, and we were saying, she's like, yeah, I went vintage, like, clothes shopping, and I was asking some of the guys that were selling their vintage t-shirts where they source, and they go to the flea market. So mm. I'm like, oh, so all the vintage dealers are going there. That's where we need I to I hope go. it's not, like, garage sale-y. It might, but it's worth checking out so we know. It's yeah. probably, you probably have to hunt a little bit. Did I talk about my nose thing in the last vlog? What's that? Did I show my nose thing in the last vlog? No, you just talked about... I feel like I've... Shown that on here though. No, it was just on your stories. It was? Oh, okay. Yeah, you, we, you talked about how you're getting it removed, but I don't think you've shown it yet. Okay. Update on the nose, guys. I got my skin tag cut off um, yesterday. And so they cut it off and then they basically like sear it with like a, and it sounds crazy, but um, like a, bur like a, they like burn it to scab it closed. That's why it's like charred, but I was numb, so I didn't feel anything. But um, it's gonna, the scab will just like heal into a scar, but that's the dot on my face, so if you're wondering. Hey, but uh, what time did you go down? At 9.30. He's been sleep sleeping for two hours, 11.45. Okay, I'm gonna go wake up Smokey and then get going to the flea market. And you guys, we have so many things for this vlog. I have, I'm not even exaggerating, probably 15 boxes downstairs to unbox packages like PR, also stuff that I've ordered, lots of fun clothes like Abercrombie, Elwood, so stay tuned in the vlog for that. Um, or you can fast forward if you just don't care. And then we'll show you guys all the drapes. Look at the bathroom drapes. How next level, you guys. Like the drapes Hunter and I are like best money we've ever freaking spent in our lives. I mean, it's definitely like, <sighs> you're so tired. His hair looks more strawberry today. So Was he passed out? Yeah. Oh, sleepy mans. I don't know. What were we saying? Um, I was showing the bathroom drapes, but right, I will show them later. Good. Okay. It like changed the feeling of our house. It really it shifted the energy. It shifted the energy <laughs> for sure. Dead. I oh. love you. Okay, let's make a bob on the go. Um. Oh, I'm gonna just let you guys know oh. my daily perfume, the dime. Oh. Don Le Bois. Probably seen me talk about it on Instagram, but it smells like, I don't know if you guys know Baccarat Rouge. It's like that really expensive perfume. It's like $300. It's a French perfume. I used to wear it and it is a beautiful, but then I discovered this. This is literally, I have a code um, right now, which it's for 25% off, I think, which is my highest code ever for them. Dime, all their stuff's clean. And this is a dupe for a Baccarat Rouge. It smells, I'm not even kidding, identical to it. So I don't even buy the other one anymore. I just buy this. Um, it smells so good and it's made all clean ingredients. So what's better? And it comes to like, I think $35 with my code. It's pretty cheap. So um, not sponsored, but the code is running this weekend if you guys want to check it out. It's like their um, Valen Dime Sale 25% off, but I'll put that in the description if you want to get that perfume, but it is a winner. Like People will stop you on the street if you're wearing it and be like, what are you wearing? Because it smells so good. Okay, we just parked doing a little bob on the car before we walk in. Let's get this guy all fed so you're not crying. So we'll see how he does. He's getting progressively more squirmy and wiggly the older he gets, and it's getting like a little bit harder to do things. Um... But we're gonna try. Usually, if he's out and about, he's entertained. So that's sort of like the activity. But we'll see how it goes. It's popping though here. Like parking lot is full. People are walking. This is curious. For, I think this is for to put on the car. Um. Or should, or does this take you inside? Not sure. You're gonna break it in half. You're gonna break it in half. Well, what? Do other people? Wait, why'd you do that? 
put one on the dash and carry one in. See, I didn't know what to do. <sighs> okay. It's fun. We're excited to check it out. We have no expectations. No expectations. But, I mean, flea markets, I think there's a lot of stuff that you can have to dig. I think there'll be clothes, furniture, all sorts of shishes. So, I love it. That really gets me going. Okay, stumbled upon some rugs. Most of it's kind of like, mm, sorry, am I being a little junky? Um, it's just like a lot of collectibles, but that's flea market. But there is a rug station, and I actually kind of love this rug. Let's check out the prices. Of course, they don't put them on there. But I like this colorway for our bathroom. I mean, that's kind of what he thinks. I wonder if it would fit. Because we need one that's a little bit bigger. All right, me and Smoke are chilling on the sideline while Mama is looking at some clothing. I okay, found a cute little vest. It's actually going to remind me of the new one I bought from American Vintage, but it's pink. Now, it's a size large, so I'll kind of either wear it open or I'll wear it like buttoned. It's like a little lace bra underneath or something. Or like cute. cute. The pink is a cute one. What do you think, buddy? 28 bucks, too. Okay, plant section, 100 pound of plant. That is sweet. I think we might get it for our kitchen. Look how long the vines are. Love it. We're gonna pay for it now and grab it on the way out, but we're gonna put it on the top shelf of like in the kitchen and let it drip down. Pretty cool. Okay, I know. Are you excited about the plants? Hi. Hi. Touch. Thank you, baby. Love you. Perfect. We're going to come back and get it. Got some clothes. We're stacking on smoke. And plants. Oh, so cute. There's a lot of cute vintage kids clothes. Um, but he's not quite big enough to wear that stuff yet, but he's really, really cute. I would say good clothes selection. It's probably my number one call out is the clothes. But other than that, no furniture or anything. They're cool. Striped overalls. And green overalls. Those are cute. Could really spend some time digging through the stuff here. A lot of good jacket. Okay, Schmucky, we're going home. Okay, we're on our way home. We got plants, some clothes, and... Julie got like five shirts. I got a shirt, and then we got three plants, and that's it. That's it. I would say is mostly like a lot of garbage. It's a lot of junk. No, a lot of junk. It's a, but the, if you're into like vintage tea shopping... The clothes are amazing. Yeah, that's where it's at. That was a good I spot. was hoping, I wasn't expecting, I don't really have any expectations. Because when you hear fairgrounds, you kind of think, oh, it's going to be like more fairy, flea market-like, and it was. But I was hoping there'd be like maybe some good dealers, like, like vintage dealers or something there. There was no like almost dealers. no furniture, so yeah, hardly you're any. into home. It ain't it. There was that one rug station, and then that was kind of only kind of good quality thing. There that was we like saw. canvas art. Yeah. But nothing I liked. Usually, and I love flea market. Mm. Like oh, remember the um, remember the flea markets in Paris, but. The That's areas, legit. the areas around, not the, okay, the inner ones that were covered that were really expensive. I mean, those are fun, but like, it was almost like those shops around that were really good. It was like digging through like French art and yeah, like, that was awesome. oh my God, it was so fun. Let's go watch our Paris vlog tonight. Okay. That was like a dream, but, uh -huh. um, so like, I love a flea market, but you can just tell with some it's like not good things or like not people with good, a good eye. It was like, it was like a flea market where there's a lot of like, Coin dealers and old, <laughs> yeah. old like pocket knives, and, like collecting cards, Barbies, Pokemon like, cards, yeah, that action vibe. figures, stuff like mm -hmm. that. If you live in the Dallas Fort Worth area, it's kind of like McKinney Trade Day, yeah, or like a really really small version of Canton. You know what sounds kind of good right now is a smoothie. I'm done. You gonna go to Eros? Kinda. Sounds really good and like hydrating. Cold. Cold. Get some protein in it. Yes. Okay, I'm Let's done. Get a smoothie. Yum. They did a collab with Skin Farm, so this one has coconut cream in it. Kind of reminds me of like an Air One dupe. Lovely. That one's a good one. Yeah. Good. What's that? Cookie dough bites. 
really good. <laughs> Hi guys, I have a beachy code for you really quickly. It's gonna be really, really quick. So don't click out, but I'll give you the 25% off code. It's good through the end of this weekend. They just dropped all of their new spring and summer stuff and it's so cute if you need to shop for spring break for beach trips or whatever this is the time i'm gonna do a quick try on show you guys all the different things first up is this beautiful lime knit crochet dress very cute i like how the lime is sort of like a pastel so it's not like too neon-y i like kind of muted colors sometimes lighting might have changed because i <laughs> came back a couple hours later but this one probably my favorite little set but me loves a maxi skirt set it's just what's not to like stripes knit maxi skirt sweater slay my life slay my life y'all know jude is in her colorful era this one is so pretty and actually when i saw it on the site i was like it looks like a little bit bright but the colors are actually very i mean we're, we're giving color, but I'm like, I gotta ease into it. They're really pretty and like, I like how there's some like more muted tones in there. And the colors are just right and the shape is perfect. It's very flattering. I love this style. Like it's not too column-y, but just like flares out a little. So flattering, so pretty. I love it, love it, love it. This little guy, gorgeous. Very like old world, classic, black and white kind of vintage -y vibes. It's so cute and sweet and pretty. I love, love this. Um, fits really well. I like the thicker straps. It's just very cute. Like if you have like a little bridal thing or something, even if not, it's just very cute. I like with gold jewelry and like black accessories, make it a little bit more classic. Okay, and lastly, these pants are so good. Um, they're giving free people vibes, but like honestly, I don't really know how they did it, but with a little string, they're not like, they're like normal pleated though. So flattering and cool, like kind of baggy effortless. And then I picked out this little sweater that had a green stripe on it. So still like neutral, but pop of color. So pretty. Um, I think these trousers would also look really good with like a white top. Honestly, I'm probably gonna wear that. A little white crochet moment. This is a dress for Vici, but like, do you see how the olive with like a white crochet top would just be adorable? So you guys check out their new arrivals, all the spring and summer vibes, really, really good stuff. Vici is just, especially in summer, they hit cause they smash on the dresses and like all the fun girly things. They're just really good at it. So my code will be here. I'll also have in the description box down below. You guys can use my code again to the end of the weekend to get 25% off and then it'll go back down to 20 if you're watching this after that. Um, but have fun. Let's go keep that part for a little play. Oh my God. <laughs> good job. You like it? Good, Smokey. And I think in this denim jacket, I look like a Dutton. <laughs> All right, so let's check these plants. First plant I got was this like little, it's almost like green slash burgundy mauve color leaves. That's a nice little change up from what all the other plants we have. But the main ones I got are these bad boys. I basically got two of these. And the, the one inside here in the bag is even longer than this. I just thought it was like really mature, nice, viney, long plant that we can put up high on one of these shelves and let it hang down. Uh, do you like right or left side, babe? Um, and maybe probably... Right well, the left like needs some loving, but I think we well, can get two. I, I, I got two. Okay. Um, oh, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous, but Smokey is going to grab that. Well, you know what you could do? Well, there we go. That's good. Yeah, that's better. Just because it's But now you can bring perfect. this one across the front. Yeah. That's the long one. What I was going to say, though, is if you wanted, we can also do it where it's on this side. And it's kind of coming down this wall. Yeah, that might be nice. That's probably, I mean, maybe because there's nothing over there. Either way, where's that pot that I put that one plant in and then it died? 
Is it black pot? Yeah, because that, that, that would be perfect in there. You just have to pull it out. You might have to rip some of the dirt off. I don't know how dirty you want to get your hands right now. Okay. okay, we're going to repot it in this little guy that we got, gosh, back at a round top, actually. And I think it'll fit perfectly. Just going to have to trim. Yeah. I think this one's even bigger. Okay. <laughs> so silly. Cute. I think we might have got conned. Hunter thinks we got conned. <laughs> no, when I was repotting it. Well, when I was repotting it, I pulled it out of the old pot and I noticed like three of like the seven the vines, like three of them were vines that had been broken off but were just like stuck through the side to make it look more full. So she was either trying to like repropagate it or whatever it's called, but I doubt it. Anyway, we'll see what happens. We'll see how long it lasts. I'm glad I saw that though because I would have blamed myself if it like died, even though like three of the seven vines were basically on their road to death already. But anyways, we'll see if they re-root in the soil. Um, but these aren't plants that you're supposed to water too much, so... I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm trying to decide if we like it on that set of shelving or one on that set of shelving. I kind of like this look with the uh, new drapes. It's kind of nice, but I like it there or there. I mean, this this looks beautiful when you walk into the house and you see that. I don't think we do both. It kind of makes the kitchen a little, little too full. I mean, not necessarily. It depends what you're going for. And that that does look nice. It, it looks balanced, but does it look too much? Yeah. Do we like that side or that side or both? Anyway. Okay, baby's down, you guys, and the time has come to do this ridiculous unboxing. Look how many boxes there are, guys. It's unreal. Okay, up first, free people movement, which we love, and I'm really excited because I'm going to an event with them on Tuesday night, so this is the outfit they sent for me to wear. Really cute little sports top. I love the shape of that. A little top to go over it. Very cute, white, <clears throat> and then a little puffer. Oh, that is so cute. I love the white. Well, it's not really a puffer. It's like quilted, but that's adorable. I'll probably just wear it with like a colorful legging or something. Absolutely adorable. And then a while ago in my Free People haul, remember I ordered this bathing suit and I had to exchange the size for a medium. So that just arrived. That's separate though. Now that I don't have my extensions in, I ordered some Luxie hair clip-in extensions. I'm gonna get these cut. Um, I really just like playing around with extensions. Before I ever had them in college, I wore clip-ins literally every night to go out, but just for like doing little half up, half downs to add fullness, I think it's like such a strategic like hair tool to have. So, we got some clip-in extensions and I might go get them cut by my hairstylist, so that's exciting. Okay, I got served this ad on Instagram for a baby beach chair, and I was like, how perfect, because we're headed to the beach with smoke. It's literally so cute. I got the little fruit pattern, and oh, I don't want to, like, unbox it, but it has a little, like, tray table on it. It's like this, and it has a little, like, snack table, so we can put him on the beach. He can have a chair. And I just figured being in Florida for a m the month, we're gonna want something like this. There's a little bit of a little bag and the pattern's really cute. So we'll see how that goes. I'll report back. This is a package from Dream Big Little Co, which is like one of my favorite pajama lines for Smokey. Okay, so it's an Easter collection. Oh my God, I'm dead. Oh my God, look at these little Bronco pajamas. Okay, these are for when he's 12 to 18 months. He's like not gonna fit in this stuff yet. Those are literally the cutest pajamas I've ever seen for a boy. <gasps> so cute. And then some little like Easter egg ones, which he's not gonna fit in, but that's okay. We will just put them in the back stock until he fits them. And they also sent some little PJs for me, which are really cute. They make adult pajamas as well, and a lot of them you can get like matching with your baby. 
so springy and cute with the flowers. I actually love those. So cute. And then, oh cute, this is a little Bronco reversible blanket and their materials are like all that bamboo fabric. It's so comfortable and cozy. Really cute. I always have a code with them. It's Julia H for 15% off. If you guys wanna shop their pajamas, like best quality, best patterns. They're just, like literally the cutest. They have the best prints, the best variety. I swear for like each holiday, like Valentine's, pa St. Patrick's Day, they'll drop like 20 prints and they're all so cute. Ooh, restock on our Armra colostrum. We have been out of this for a while. So bomb. Okay, this is a little goodie bag from Sanctuary, which if you've ever shopped this brand, like back in the day, um, they would sell it at Nordstrom and they make really good stuff. But this is a really cute little plain white button up top. And then they've always been so good at a cargo pant. Ooh, white. That is perfect. I can wear these at the beach. They look like a nice like loose fit. They're so good at cargos. I feel like that's always what I remember them for um, is their cargo pants. Road. By Heavy Bieber, a little calendar of her looking amazing, awesome. Ooh, this is the new pineapple enzyme, um, the pineapple refresh cleanser. They also sent a barrier restore cream, glazing milk, which I've heard really good things about, and then a peptide glazing fluid, and of course, their peptide lip treatment. This is in just unscented. Um, awesome. I actually have not tried any of her products besides the pep, the lip treatment, which I love. Um, so we will get on that and report back. You guys are going to love this. Okay, you guys. So my ride or die tanner, loving tan. I just, honestly, I've never even worked with them. The tanner is just that good. I think we all just know that they just slay. Like their tanner is the best. It's the best color. It's the easiest to get off. It lasts the longest. It's just the best tanner. And they finally came out with the platinum in the two hour express. If you use the platinum, you know that it is the darkest formula they have. I mean, there's, there's like light, medium, dark, ultra dark, and then there's platinum. Platinum is incredible, but they only had it in like the full eight hour formula and now it's in two hour express. So <gasps> big size of that and a small size of that. Oh my genius. I mean, honestly, now after doing the two hour express, it's like, can't be bothered with anything else. Even though I wear my tan throughout the day, it just, I don't want to wait anymore. Cute new goodies from Lounge. I recently discovered Lounge um, underwear line. They're out of the UK, but they make the prettiest, cutest stuff. So I got some new styles for spring. This little ribbed collection is so cute with little lace and flowers. Adorable, really cute little um, intimates line. They also make apparel, like comfy, loungy apparel, but just really, really cute patterns that are really unique. Oh, look at the pink. So cute. So, bunch of matching bras and underwear. I got a bunch of fun spring colors. So cute. See, this is what I was thinking to wear under my little vest that I got at the flea market today. Like, something lacy like this so that if it, like, peeks out, it's super cute. Um, and we just love a fun little bra. So, these are so pretty if you guys want to check them out. Ooh, that color is gorgeous. Something about romanticizing your everyday bra and underwear is I'm not really like a lingerie girl per se, but this to me is just like, I mean as in lingerie like for, you know, dress up. Um, it's not really my personality, but I love a cute bra and underwear. And I feel like these are a really good in between. Like they're very pretty, but very wearable. These are so springy and cute and dying. I mean, come on, how would you not feel so cute and adorable in that? So pretty. Just redid my whole underwear drawer. So pretty. Cute. Also working with them on Instagram on a campaign. I posted one for Valentine's Day and the lingerie is so cute. It's like all pastels. So my vibe. Um, and 
fun fact, I was very nervous about posting that because I was like, oh my god, like, I do not want to put myself in lingerie. He's not feeling like that confident in my body to like show it completely like that on Instagram, but I did it anyways and I was like, okay. So, um, yeah, if you see me, if you see me on your feed in the lingerie, please give it some love. Smoke needs new clothes. He is still fitting in three to six months and like everything is too big for him so we're really working with like a bare minimum right now but that's okay it's like not necessary for them to have a ton but okay we hope you love our new pieces they're launching on 227 this is one of atlas gray is one of my favorite baby brands for smokey we order so many basics they just have like really cute basics um so let's see what's in here oh my god stop that says mama's boy on it oh that's so cute Okay, wait, it says Mama's Boy, and then this one says Dad's Dude. <laughs> so cute. We love it. Oh, their basics are the best. Like, just plain, really good quality materials. They don't pill. They're not, like, cheap. They're just really, really nice. So those are my favorite things from them. Really good little pants. Top, that's the perfect shape. I like when the sweats are, like, a little bit loose because they're – um, smoke specifically and I every baby's built differently but his legs are kind of chunky and they're like you know getting the rolls and stuff so if the pants are not like billowy they get like kind of snug on them they like kind of look like leggings so I love when the sweats have like a little bit more shape to them these are so cute these are perfect some new socks they have the best socks we just ordered a bunch from there this one says oh it's a little hoodie it says wild child that's perfect timing for him now starting to crawl. And then they're also really good at little knits. I have probably like 15 of their sweaters. Really cute little cardigans and knits. And they also have like cute little knit pants. So thank you so much. This is perfect. We always need new little baby clothes. And these are the best quality. Like honestly, when I was packing up Smoke's Nursery for... Um, to put away stuff he had grown out of i was like kind of like donating um i had like a donations bag and then a bag that i'm saving for our next baby and i saved all of the atlas gray stuff and like the higher quality things because that stuff lasts and then like some of the cheaper stuff i ended up just like donating or putting in a bag that i could give away to like friends with babies whatever i have two friends that are pregnant and are about to give birth so i'm just reserving them but um honestly like i kind of one of my things that I will do for the next baby is like I think buy better quality stuff because it just looks better it lasts better and if you're gonna pass it down I don't know I just think it's worth like a little bit of extra money a little gift from primarily pure bliss ball okay. their stuff is so good all their body butters some masks they always send really cute packages too with like really wholesome like healthy things, incense, bath salts. Ooh, I love their bath salts. Mm, that smells so good. Um, yeah, if you're really into non-toxic and clean products, Primarily Pure, their stuff is beautiful and it's all like from grass-fed cows, like beef tallow, rosemary extract. Everything is very clean and organic um, and non-toxic. So really beautiful products and I know you've probably seen more people talking about them because they are I'm starting to see them like work with more people to try and get like their name out there but their products truly are amazing and they smell so so good their body washes body butters bath salts their skincare is clean everything's beautiful okay I think we've got one more oh this is Abercrombie okay this is a big one Believe it or not, this is my first time trying Abercrombie denim, pink denim jacket. Knew I needed it. I did get some comfies. You know, I've been loving these little like zip up hoodies to wear as tops. So I got the blue one. Thought this was super cute. Little crop hoodie that says Le Soleil. Just thought it was like very beachy. Sweatpants in blue. And then a ton of jeans. So I did curve love in all the styles because I have like a smaller waist but like still like curvy in the button hip so that's perfect this is 20 size 26 high rise the loose in curve love very cute wow these fit incredible i'm so happy 
those are good i did the regular length and i'm glad i did because i almost went short but i was like if they're too short i will not wear them um so these are very very nice slay these are also the curve love high rise loose short i'll link these all down below with the styles um now these fit perfect i'll probably cut them to like my perfect length which i don't want them like too short honestly these are awesome for summer and i think they come in a few different washes i'll probably cut them to like about there could also just cuff them but i think a cut would be nice um very very cute and i like how there's room in the leg and butt area because i hate when shorts are like too tight i think they look like just like hoochie, I don't like it. Okay, these are Curve Love Low Rise Baggy in size 26. Actually really cute. I'm like really impressed with the denim, wow. I was just telling Hunter too that I like need new jeans, so this is great. Um, I think I would need to wear like a little tank with these, but they actually fit really nice. Yeah, and like the beige color is adorable. These will be cute for the beach with like little flip flops. They're very like relaxed fit, which I love. Okay, I'm pretty sure this style I know most people say is their favorite, so I had to order it. This is the, wait, did the tag fall? Damn it, okay, I'm pretty sure these are the high rise 90s. I can't find the little tag though. I don't know where it went, fell off somewhere, but really nice. Um, trying to figure out they fit, everything fits really nicely. Curve Love is definitely perfect for me. It just hugs right in the waist and there's no like gap in the back if you get that. Um, I typically don't wear this like straight leg of a jean but I'm sure it will come in handy like at the right time. I'm really impressed with the jeans. These are really nice so they're more of like a slim fit. Okay, last but not least, the, high the 90s relaxed high rise in Curve Love. Ooh, these might be my favorite. These are perfection, and I really love the color. These are so nice. I'm really glad I didn't go with the short length because I love a little bunching at the ankle. I just think it looks a little bit cooler. I don't like when jeans are like hovering. I think they just look too short. Um, and I'm only 5'2", so according to the website, I would have gone on the short length, and I'm just glad that I didn't. Um, but this color is so beautiful. Wow, I mean, 20 out of 10. I'm really, really happy with all nice. these jeans. Cute. I know, and they all fit so well. Okay, Abercrombie jeans, we love it. But right, here's the sweats. Got them in a size small. They are very cute, love the blue color. Um, I think they come in pink too and some other front colors, but they're kind of like a, a little bit of an oversized sweat, but what I'm liking is they're not baggy in the butt, and that is, really hard to find you want them sort of like loose in the legs because you don't want them tight in the legs but to find them where they're not sagging is very difficult so that is a really nice fit of a sweatpant and then these do not match but i'm just showing to you really cute sort of like faded blue um little zip up which i've just been loving these lately i like wearing them as tops with jeans um or pants or whatever they're just comfy but not like a crew neck i like how you can kind of like zip them down show your jewelry they're just cute and the little strings i really like them um so i've been wearing a ton of these styles i got one from brady melville i got one from american vintage they're just cute i just love them, love them. so this is another good one and then lastly is this denim jacket which i'm sure is adorable i got it in a medium very cute okay wow well we slayed um, a lot of trash need to clean up. Thank you guys for all the goodies. I'll link as much as I can down below with and all cow. my codes and stuff. I know. I'm about to do a recycling. But really, so that's not that much for no, all this, no. which is the, uh, America's packaging problem. I know. Let's take all this upstairs and, and do a run to the recycling center. Okay. Hunter got this little shirt today. Isn't it cute? Oh yeah. I love it. it. Very cute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
you remember that Nickelodeon commercial? He's <laughs> <laughs> like, Nickelodeon <laughs> magazine, please. <laughs> Wait, did I forget that Nickelodeon magazine? Yeah. That's so good. <laughs> Alright you guys, it's a little bit later, um, I'm back from the recycling center, Julia, we've been hanging with Smokey since I've been home, and we already had dinner, we had an early dinner like at 5.30, and it is almost 7.30, and we have our neighbors coming over, um, our next door neighbors, they're coming over for some dominoes, or we're putting Smokey to sleep first, so Julia's up there putting Smokey to sleep. I'm heating up some leftovers from dinner to have round two, two hours later. And yeah, we're, we're both kind of tired, but we're like, well, you know, it's, we want to have a little bit of fun tonight. So we're having some friends over around 7.45. They'll probably stay for like an hour and a half or so. And then we'll get to bed and then have kind of a busy day tomorrow. We're trying to play pickleball with some friends. We have dinner with some other friends tomorrow night. And I have a lot of chores and stuff to do tomorrow. We have some content we have to work on tomorrow as well. Um, yeah, so we'll catch up with you either tonight or we'll see you first thing in the morning. Look how pretty our house looks in the morning with the curtains, guys. Oh, everything is so cozy. It's a completely different energy shift. Look at this and our little plaids in the kitchen. They're so cute. I'll show you today all of the new ones because they're all in now and they just look so good. Like, dun dun dun. This little crazy one is finishing his bottle. So funny. He is just getting to that age where he's just a little spicy, he's getting more particular about everything. It's really cute, but um, it's just funny. It's like more testy, you know what I mean? Um, anyways, it's like 7.30 on Sunday, and I'm letting Dad sleep in today because he got up with smoke like every morning this week and let me just kind of like chill in bed. So I'm trying to return the favor, let him sleep for a little bit. I love you so much. I love you. You sit. Sit, baby. Sit. Let's start with our hello song. Hold on. Hello, everybody. So glad to see you. Hello, everybody. So, so glad to see you. Hello, to Smokey. So glad to see you. Hello, This just hurts mommy's back really bad. It hurts mommy's back. <laughs> yeah, you show everybody something you happy. That's a happy boy. Here we go. <laughs> Are you having fun? job eating your potato. I'm so proud of you. Hey guys, I'm going to give you the rest of the drapes tour so you can see 
all the ones that we did. It's fun. I like to get ideas for other people. So this is just to give some inspiration. In the hall, we did little Roman shades on all of the so we mini have windows. Roman shades right here. <laughs> this one, Spooky, last one. <laughs> um, yeah, and also a little detail that we didn't know was an option. They have metal little it's cleats and plastic, and we went with the metal. I think it looks really good and nice. A little bit more firm. We've got Smokey's Nursery, which oh, this is perfect lighting actually, is all blackout curtains. And actually the fabric we chose for the nursery ended up not being available. So we went with just the same fabric that's in the downstairs just to keep it consistent. And then we figured if this is ever a bedroom, it would still be like really neutral. Cohesive. Nice and cohesive. <clears throat> okay. So here's our bedroom. Sorry, it's a little messy. We Sunday where I haven't cleaned up yet. Smokey Joe liked these ones. Mm -hmm. These are our favorites. Um, we did little plaid Roman shades. <laughs> we did <laughs> yeah, I, plaid Roman shades on the little nightstands and then they just pull up But we are leaving them down most of the time right now, but the, we thought the plaid was a nice cute little pattern okay, and then for the Main curtains, which I think this is a really good strategy for the bedroom. We did a double layered Curtain situation. Okay, so the first layer is our like main shade that has blackout lining so we can black out our room now when we sleep and then we did a second rod behind that with shears so what's nice this is a much layer weight fabric you can keep this closed and it's like still guards when you still get still privacy yeah still privacy but it lets light in so you don't have to be like black out during the day and i just think the layering looks really good you can open both but it's fantastic. So we only did that in here. I would say the bedroom, it's only necessary because you need a change, you need a privacy. You could do it in your living room, but if you really needed it, but it gets more expensive. It creates like a hotel so vibe. It here. does. Um, and, and I like it, the plaid. I like that we went with plaid for like a little bit of texture and, and pattern. I'm so happy with the, the plaid. Oh. Yeah, and the plaid, we did that in the kitchen and then here, and I just think the little pattern, it just makes it really cozy and Hunter and I were like, oh God, was is the plaid gonna be too much? Oh God, is the plaid gonna be too much? And then we ended up loving it, it's so cozy. really happy with it. Hey, I'm gonna put him down. Okay. Uh, do show upstairs? Yeah, and lastly, we've got the upstairs room, which is my like catch-all room for all my packages. I'm going through some clothes right now to sell, so it's a little bit of a shit show. But we just did classic little drapes in here. We went with sort of a lighter color. This is lighter than um, the color you saw in the downstairs and in the bedroom, because up here gets pretty good light. So um, I don't know, we just wanted to change it up. This is just like a nice classic beige color. And we did drapes on the door here and then on this little window, which is really cute. We've done drapes in two houses now, and these are some of my learnings. If you are gonna invest in them, um, I would say go obviously neutral, maybe a little pattern in some areas if you're willing to do it, but if you're nervous, I would say just go with solid neutral fabrics, like linens, can't go wrong. And I also feel like on the last house, I did a lot of white and like ivory, and I didn't end up loving that. I felt like it looked I almost feel like that's more appropriate if you live in a coastal home or like a beachy area. If not, it just looks like a little bit stark and white in the house and it just makes it feel, I don't know, it just, it, the, the warmer fabrics, my suggestion is to go like off-white beige, oatmeal, even like the color we did in the downstairs and everything and in our bedroom is more of like a taupe. And I just think, especially with white paint and stuff, it just looks a little bit warmer um, and it tends to look better, especially if you have a lot of neutral decor. That's my other tip. Um, and then lastly, if you're lost, we pretty much did the exact same fabric all downstairs, all the Roman shades, in our bedroom, in the nursery, and then the only different fabrics we did were this floor, it's just a little bit lighter, and then the plaids on the Roman. So really there was only three fabrics that we did throughout the whole house. So if you're lost, I would just keep it consistent throughout almost every floor, can't go wrong. I don't have to like get really over complicated with the fabric choices, so don't be intimidated by that, which is really nice. Um, 
And lastly, if you guys need someone in Nashville to work with, um, I'm more than happy to share the information of the woman that we used. She's incredible. She's done the drapes at both of our places in Nashville, and she is just absolutely lovely. So, um, if you want to DM me or if you want to leave a comment on here or you can always email us. Hunter and I, our email is always in the description box if you have like questions on specific things. You can email us and we'll probably see that faster than like a DM. It's a little bit hard sometimes to navigate DMs. And I'm ha more than happy to share her info if you guys need someone to do your drapes for you. So she's been just absolutely fantastic and she's like a wonderful lady. Okay, you guys, baby's down for a nap, and I thought we would do a little coffee chat about my new wedding ring. Okay, so this morning, I'm gonna spill the tea on my new wedding ring, and tell you guys all about it. You know, I've talked about this times and times again. When was it gonna happen? If you are new to this channel for any reason, Hunter and I got robbed when we were in uh, France for the summer, two summers ago now. This was before I got pregnant with smoke, whatever my wedding ring got stolen in the robbery and there's a whole story time on the channel if you guys want to go like get the tea on that story anyways we had a baby we moved and i just like we never really got around to it and i was like it just doesn't feel like the right time it's not that big of a deal i've been wearing literally an amazon ring if you see this ring ever this is literally just like a cubic zirconium from amazon which is totally fine it's great it's been fine and i don't have to worry about it getting stolen anyways i have been making a pinterest board just like in the back of my mind you know trying to gather new ideas and i stumbled across this one designer sophia came on and she has the most beautiful stuff they're just really really different and beautiful and very much my style um i don't know how i stumbled across her stuff on pinterest but i just kept coming across her rings and i was like oh my god i'm obsessed with that I'm obsessed with that and i was like okay this is definitely the vibe this is what i want and i want sort of like a stacking situation and i really wanted to do something different than i had previously i just so i had a really cute like cushion cut ring that was super simple um when we first got engaged and it was the most beautiful diamond ever and i'm so sad that like it got taken we don't have it anymore but i feel like i am in a new phase and i'm like oh it's gonna be so fun to like express my personal style anyway so we are working with them to get my ring we went there when we were in august actually for my windsor collection shoot we went into the store met all the girls tried on a bunch of stuff and i'll put pictures here of like some of the styles that i tried on so you guys can kind of see the direction that i'm going they're incredible like their jewelry is so sick i go stock their page follow them if you guys want they have like just the coolest most unique wedding rings and i literally like i had such a hard time deciding so i'm like i love all of the styles it was like a really big challenge to find the exact one that i want because i just had there were so many choices and like cool different combinations like the creativity is just out the roof i really love her and a lot of you guys have dm'd me um saying that you've worked with her for your wedding bands or in some capacity and she's just really talented so really quickly they are coming to nashville to do a pop-up in april on april 6th and 7th um they do like pop-ups around the country because not everyone can obviously travel to la so if you guys want to if you're in the the local nashville area and you want to come try on diamonds you can do that um i'll leave all the link in the description box i'll put their instagram and then the event info if you want to come to the pop-up and try on diamonds they're going to bring all their stuff and like they kind of like go around different cities and like you know you can play try on and then if you want to like get anything or work with them you can or you can just go and explore it's really fun they have great bands too their bands are amazing i'm gonna pick out my bands at the pop-up because i'm getting my ring made right now and it's gonna arrive and then we're gonna do the bands at the pop-up when they get here because that's like more of a play around like you kind of want to try different combinations and stuff like that so what i really really wanted in my ring i think this time around i tried I'm not going to tell you guys exactly what I got because I'm going to do a reveal. It's probably coming in about a month, so stay tuned. But I tried on like a pear-shaped diamond. I really thought I wanted like an east and west facing pear shape. Um, and I also really liked a marquee stone. I love emerald cut and 
Also, cushion cut is always classic. I also really like this cool shaped stone that they had. I love this stack. I just think it's amazing. Um, and I really like how they play around with like the orientation. You can get north and uh, north and south facing, east and west facing. You can do different settings. They've got every style of band you can imagine. So we've played around with a few different concepts and we're kind of like meshing together like all the different styles that I want into my ring. We're um, stoked for it though. And we like, are so stoked. The mock-ups for it and the little like resin wax. Um, yes, model. Models they've made with the diamond we've chose. Yeah. It looks so fire. They're, um, it looks absolutely fire poofy. <laughs> their customer service, like, they've been really great to work with. Um, so if you are a bride or if you you want to, like, do a ring change up, could not recommend them enough. Like, the customer service has been on point. And they Sophia have, herself is awesome. Wonderful. Yeah. Yes. Um, they're, like, Zoom meetings every week. They send, like, link invites. They're super organized. Everything that we ask for, they, like, deliver. They're, like... We'll go find this. It needs to be perfect. Like, and we'll we, go look for more stuff. Let stones. me just say this. Julie hasn't been, like, the most easy customer. <laughs> well, she has in the sense, like, she came in with the vision. Mm -hmm. But, like, she's very, very particular on which diamond she's wanted. And, like, has sent them on an absolute goose hunt. Aww. No, and, and I'm, I'm serious. Like, they've done... I know exactly what It's like. part of their job is to go find the right diamond that you're looking for. Yeah. And they've done such an amazing job at, like, searching being for you. And being and patient And being patient and, like, working with you and, like, just being on top of it and saying, like, okay, we understand, like, this is what you're looking for. Like, let's go back to the drawing board and, like, look for these diamonds or, yeah. you know, so on, so. They also, though, like, in moments where I haven't known what I want, I, like, I'm like, oh, I just don't know that right combination. Do we like this? Do we like that? They also have, like, really good taste, and they're really helpful on, like, guiding you on deciding what you want if you and have no idea. They're honest. And they're, yeah, they're definitely like, honest. Like, they're not going to try to, like, just tell you it looks good so you get it. Like, no. they're going to give their opinion because it's, Totally. In the end, it's their product that they want it to look good as well. I know. There was even at one t point like a bigger stone and they even were like honest and were like, I don't think the bigger stone is the right one. Like, and you would think normally like in a diamond situation, like someone would try to be like selling you on like the a bigger dollar, diamond. The yeah. Biggest diamond. And they're no. just like super honest and like have good integrity. So we felt like really like safe working with them the whole time. Um... So anyways, I just wanted to give them some love because I we really loved our experience. And you guys can check out their Instagram, follow them on Pinterest. It is just like eye candy um, and so much fun to watch. And if you guys want to come to the Nashville pop-up, definitely come. It's free to book an appointment, um, and I'll leave that down below. So I don't know if you said this, but I feel like they get inspo from like old world jewelry yeah they do like a mix of like it's like modern but like vintage inspired yeah, like vintage inspired. they have all different kinds of stones too like different colors they have like champagne diamonds they have like salt and pepper diamonds they have like clear diamonds i mean i remember when we were in their shop i, I was most like the thing that stuck out to me the most was the new pieces that looked vintage i know they like just they like, really nailed it. They uh, got the vibe down. I just love their stuff so much. I'm like really happy I stumbled up upon them on Pinterest. And we just love Pinterest for that reason. Anyways, so you guys stay tuned. I'll have the ring. It's probably going to be done in about a month. It actually, yeah, it might be like quicker than that. Because we just finalized um, the stone and picked out everything that we wanted. So they're like moving forward on like getting it set and everything. And they're going to ship me the ring. And then at the pop-up, I'm going to go and pick out some fun bands. Um, we, and yeah. we had our first call with them in November. And then our second call with them at Vlogmas. So we've been working on this for yeah. a few months now. A little secret project that we've been keeping. But finally, excited to tell you guys. So that's the deal. Finally getting my new ring made. Um, first world problems. But I'm excited to have a, a ring again. And, you know, it's fun. It's just been like a fun creative project to like explore my style and stuff like that. All right, you guys. That's going to wrap up this vlog. Smoke just woke over my snap and he's playing... And we're gonna play pickleball, try to get outside. Yeah, it's a nice day out today. Anyways, hope y'all enjoyed this weekend vlog, and we'll see y'all next time. Bye!